Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I've got a new stout to review for you and it's from the Witchwood Brewery and it is their Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin range and it's their Hobgoblin stout and it's coming in at 4.1% ABV. This is the latest beer in the Hobgoblin range and uh, this week, uh, week beginning, what date are we at now? Middle of September, isn't it? It uh, must have been 19th, 20th. Um, it finally went into Morrison's. Um, it's been on the Witchwood uh, website for a while now, but you can only buy it in packs of eight at a minimum. I didn't want to buy a pack of eight because obviously I didn't know if I was going to like it, but uh, I'm a fan of Hobgoblin, generally. I think their beers are, are, have always been pretty good, apart from the Golden Ale. I've never really been a fan of that one, but the Ruby, the IPA, the uh, King Goblin, fantastic beers they've also got a new session ipa out which i haven't tried yet so i will be looking to get that one uh, at some point um i thought it was poignant that i did a hobgoblin review because obviously carlsberg marston's now own them and they recently announced that they're going to be closing the original witchwood brewery which is a real shame um hobgoblin will continue to be brewed but obviously not at the original witchwood site in uh, in oxfordshire um, which is a shame, it is a shame because it just means it's going to be getting brewed in one of their many industrial estates up and down the country and um, you've got to worry about the quality of the beer when they start brewing it in the same building as some of the other pap that Carlsberg and Marston's own um, so it is a shame, so I'm going to have to take a trip up to the Witchwood Brewery in, uh, I've forgotten the name of the, the village it's in now in Oxfordshire, it might be written on here uh, it is Whitney, Whitney in Oxfordshire, that's where it is. So yeah, I'm gonna have to have a trip up to Whitney and go see the brewery again before uh, before it's closed for good. But yes, they've released a 4.1% stout. Seems to be all the rage these days, people releasing stouts. Um, Brewdog have had a go, a blatant mock of Guinness, and then um, Forged, a new new company, have come out and they've had Conor McGregor jumping around promoting it. They've, they've released a... A stout this year as well which is again another blatant ripoff of guinness the black and the gold and all that at least uh which would have kind of gone for their own just a black and white they haven't tried to copy guinness they've still got the original Witchwood bottle which looks good so anyway um yes this was in morrison's i think i paid about two pound 20 for the bottle because i've been after it for a while when i contacted the carlsberg masters a few weeks back and they said that morrison's asda and I think Tesco had all put orders in. So if you can't find it in local Morrison's, it might be in your Asda or your Tesco. Um, I'm going to put it in my Hob Goblet, which again, if you've not seen this glass, look at that. The, I'm, I'm easily impressed. It is a stubby, wide pint glass, but they've done this little ridge at the bottom so you can slip your, your middle finger and your thumb in. So you've got extra grip. It's a great design for a glass. I really think so. You've got the Hob Goblin etched at the bottom the hobgoblin word around the side and there's another hobgoblin next on that side as well i just think it's a nice piece of glassware so yeah let's get this uh hobgoblin stout out of its bottle and see if it's any good it's been out of the fridge for a little while a little bit of smoke on the opening always a good sign A bit of a wriggle, anything that might be sitting in the bottom, get that in the mixture. Chuck it in. See what that looks good. That looks good. There she goes. As you can see it. That is jet black with a lovely coffee colour. One and a bit of head on it, and there's a lovely sort of dark fruity aroma coming out at me from here. Um, first impressions are very good. I'm going to let that settle for a second. What does it say about the beer? It says, jet black with aromas of roasted malts and chocolate. Enjoy the earthy bitterness balanced by hints of coffee, cocoa and sweet treacle. A deceptively dark yet smooth and easy drinking stout. Love it. Love it. Let's get me, uh, like I say, there it is in the hog goblet. Jet black with the tiniest bit of red bleeding through at the bottom of the glass. You might be able to see that. Maybe not. Got the light shining at me so I can see that. But that is pretty dark. Head is just starting to dissipate a little bit. But what is left seems to be holding. Let's get my snout in. Excuse me. 
and it's fruity. It's like a cherry, plummy, black coffee, dark chocolate aroma. It smells lovely. It's sweet. Treacle. I can't remember the last time I sniffed treacle. I, I wouldn't even know. It's certainly a sweetness to it, but it's more fruity. It's fruity, coffee and chocolate for me. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Ooh. And I'll tell you what, the aroma backs up, is backed up, should I say, by the flavour. It is, tastes like hobgoblin. It's a hobgoblin, but a darker hobgoblin. There is crystal malt. I'd be amazed if there isn't crystal malts. What's it saying in the ingredients? It just says contains barley and wheat. It's just like the... The health stuff they don't give much away on these bottles which is a shame it has for me an unmistakable hobgoblin flavor about it but roastier darker it's malty it's a touch of sweetness there is cherries dark fruit like a berryness to it Chocolate, dark chocolate, roasty coffee. It's light. It's very easy drinking. It, I said it on the bottle, it's easy drinking. It's only 4.1%, but it's it's sweeter than a lot of other stouts I've had recently. Yeah, it's a light sweetness on arrival. Touch of licorice. And that's the hobgoblin touch. That's that crystal malt thing. There's always that slight touch of licorice. I always find that you get with hobgoblin ruby, king goblin. And it comes through on this. And it's complemented really nicely by sort of the roasted malts, the coffee, the dark chocolate. The only, the only thing I can throw at it is it's a bit light. It's a bit thin on the body. I just think this had a tiny little bit more body to it. Maybe a bit more wheat in the malt bill, maybe a touch of oats. Yeah, it just needed, for me, it just needs to be a touch, a touch thicker. That's all I can say that I don't like about it. Other than that, it's a very drinkable stout. If you're not keen on your thick, gloopy, roasty stouts, this might be one for you. I think it's a bit more approachable, a bit more drinkable, a bit more sessionable. It's got chocolate, it's got coffee. There is a touch of licorice. There is a touch of sort of berry, dark fruit on arrival. I mean, bloody, I've nearly polished that off already. That is a ridiculously drinkable stout. It's not going to blow anyone's mind, but it is a good, a very good, solid crack at a stout. From Witchwood, I've got no issues with that whatsoever. Um, I will go back and buy some more. And I'll tell you one thing, this is still quite cold. It's only been out of the fridge for a little while. Um, I should have had this a little bit warmer because I think this is going to open up. I think there's more flavours that are going to come out of this, which is quite exciting. Um, that is a solid, solid effort. I've got no problems with that whatsoever. Uh, excuse me. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm going to give that 8 out of 10. I think that's a half decent product to say. 220 ish I think I paid in Morrison's. Might be cheaper in the other supermarkets. It's going into the, into the supermarkets in the next few weeks. I've had that from Marlsberg, Carlsberg uh, themselves. So yeah, go out and grab that. Let me know what you think when you've had it. 8 out of 10 for me. Solid product. Another good one from Hobgoblin. Hope you enjoyed the review. Until my next one, you take care.